What's up guys, my name's Joe. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a, of a cold today, so just bear with me if I'm sounding a little bit funny. First things first, it's giveaway time. So Blue Mon, that's us, we're hosting a new giveaway, and the grand prize that someone's gonna get to win is over $100 worth of Blue Mon product, along with a bunch of other goodies that um, from some other brands that we've included in the bundle. So as for the first place winner, there will also be five runner-ups who will also receive um, some additional Blue Mon goodies as well. And this giveaway is running until November 20th, so that is in just over a week. For any types of details that you could possibly need, check out the link in the description where you can also sign up to enter the giveaway. Uh, have fun, guys. Hope that you will all win, if that's not possible. So on to today's video. How do I get my hair to stay up all day long? That's what we all would like to know, isn't it? Hmm? In the eye, look me in the eyes. I know. I know that's what you want. How do I keep it puffy as a cloud and maintain that volume for hours on end? So this is a massive question that I see all the time, and I've got an extensive amount of information uh, to share with you guys, I think that this is going to really help you guys who are trying to achieve volume for a long period of time. I'm going to be starting out with some more basic information at first, alright, I mean we're just starting from scratch, and then I'll share with you a technique that I've recently kind of developed and learned for myself that works super well. And also I'm going to end this off with one final tip that is going to blow your mind, so you definitely stick around to find out. So the first and also most important tip to achieving long lasting volume is definitely in the haircut. You guys hear me say this a lot, I mean a haircut haircut plays a key role into a lot of different aspects when it comes to hairstyling. I'd say at least 60 to 70% of the time that I see people asking why they can't achieve volume or why they can't have volume that lasts is because your hair is too long. Now I definitely understand the appeal of having longer hair. Longer hair is flowy, it's swoopy, if you get it right it just looks nice. But you take that too far and you start to compromise height. At the end of the day it's really simple. The shorter that your hair is, the more easy it's going to be to obtain volume. That's just physics. The best thing I can recommend is finding that sweet spot for your own type of hair. Between how long you can have your hair and still maintaining a good amount of volume. You need to find that balance. There's a sweet spot for everyone. For me, that's about five inches. That is my sweet spot. Anything more than five inches, it starts to flop over. Anything less than five inches, I'll still get crazy amounts of volume, but to me, it just doesn't look as good. These next two tips are also part of the basics, but they are extremely important. Basics usually are. If you want volume to last all day long, you need to be using a pre-styler, aka a product that you use before you blow dry your hair, and a blow dryer. Very important pieces of uh, key ingredients. And granted, a blow dryer is more important than a pre-styling product, but I find a pre-styling product to be highly beneficial. So when it comes to pre-stylers, you're needing to go after lightweight products. Products that are not going to be weighing your hair down during the blow dry process. For example, you wouldn't want to use most clays that exist, a lot of, a lot of heavy clays. You wouldn't want to use most pomades that exists. Instead, we're after that lightweight control, something that's going to provide that featherweight volume. A popular product known to give massive volume is hair mousse. Hair mousse is pretty much designed to give that really poofy result with uh, without any weight whatsoever. It's extremely light. If you want to try hair mousse and you're kind of new to it, I've got some good budget options linked down below. As for my preference, yes, hair mousse does work, but I prefer the finish and feel that I get from Original by Blue Mon more. If you've been around, you know this already. Since we've come out with this project a couple years ago, it is my go-to pre-styler. I use Original for everything. It's reliable and it gives me that lightweight volume that I'm after every single time. And yes, it's a post-styling product as well, which I talk about less, but um, it is a fantastic pre-styler. And as for the blow dryer, I mean, put simply, it is a massive staple that will give you long lasting volume. I hear that. Hello? Hello? Do you do you bring gifts? Check it out. What's this? Oh, we'll be right back. One minute, 37 seconds later. Anyways, when it comes to the blow dryer, technique is obviously very important, and that's what we're gonna talk about next. So I'm gonna come back with damp hair, and I'll show you what we're talking about. So I've recently come up with a technique that's been working amazing to get some long-lasting height. That's what I'm gonna share with you guys right now. First things first, as always, going in with some original for that pre-styling. This bit is the same pretty much regardless of the hairstyle that I'm doing. All right, so this technique is all in the blow drying and the direction that I'm gonna be combing my hair. So I'm gonna be using a blow dryer and a vented brush, my favorite type of hairbrush that exists. Link down below if you want to check it out. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out the direction that your hair grows. For me, as you can see, my hair just naturally falls from right to left. 
comb that out, it goes this way super easily. That's the natural direction. So what I'm gonna do, comb everything back. And this is something very specific to my hair, but in the back here, uh, this is the hardest bit to get to cooperate. So I'm gonna blow dry this in the direction that it naturally wants to go. And then we'll pick back up in a second. Okay, so right now, this bit right here is the only bit of my hair that's dry. Everything else is still wet. And now this is where the technique really um, uh, like starts. As I mentioned, my hair naturally goes this way. So what I'm gonna do is pull it in nearly the opposite direction. However, it's not gonna stay in the opposite direction forever. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. So at this point, most of my fringe area is dry. This bit is still wet back here. So I'm gonna blow dry, comb some of this down like so. At this point, everything is about 80% dry. There's still about 20% left that's still a little bit damp, mostly on the inside. The outside is mostly dry. And as you can see, currently my hair is actually going in the opposite direction to what it normally or naturally falls to. However, like I said, it's not gonna stay like this. This is just to build that volume. I'm gonna return it back into its normal spot in a minute. But first, first I need to adjust this, bring you down a little bit so you can see what is about to happen. Since my hair is still about 20% damp, I'm gonna flip my head upside down, continue to blast it and that gravity is also going to help to build in some of that volume since my hair will be upside down and now as a result bring you back up as a result from that scruff and round just blow drying my hair in every which direction my hair is actually returned back well with a little bit of help but i brought it back to the natural direction that it grows in but it has all of this new volume because we blow dried it in the opposite direction in the first place when i was first experimenting with this i thought it was going to totally mess up my, the way that my hair you know works but it actually does not blow drying it in the opposite direction really lifts it up and then you can still pull it back in the direction that your hair naturally goes and you're gonna have height, new levels of height that you've never experienced before. Now the final thing involving the blow dryer, my hair is 100% dry, but we're gonna blast it for about 30 seconds on completely cold air. It's gonna lock down the hair in place and keep that style rocking all day long. Also, since it's cold air, we can get as close as we want without uh, worrying about any damage. And just like that, guys, this is what I've been doing for the past couple months now. I've never brought it to a video, um, because it's something that I've, yeah, I didn't really figure out until, uh, until kind of recently. Blow drying it in the opposite direction, then bringing it back. Guys, it is so effective. My hair will literally stay like this um, until I like go to bed at night, at which point the pillows will mess it up. Just remember again, it's important that your hair is the right length uh, for the best results. If your hair is too long, there's not much that's gonna help to um, keep that volume going. At this point, guys, you've done most of the work. The haircut, pre-styling product, blow dryer, and blow drying technique is a good 90% of the process to bigger, better volume. As for product suggestions, texture powder is known to give that massive boost. Now, some people will use texture powder all by itself, Personally, if I use texture powder, I'm gonna cocktail that with my other normal styling product. Also, just a little pro tip, when you feel like your hair is starting to flop down a little bit, boost it up with some of that powder and you will um, be rocking that volume once again. Texture powders are probably best for people with uh, the thinner to normal hair types. And for those of you with thicker hair types, a heavy clay lasts me all day long. Cavalier clay is what I use for a reliable all day hold. This is uh, it in its little box. This is actually a miniature version of the boxes that we're switching out to in a bit. And I know that it's gonna keep up with whatever activities I'm gonna be doing that day, um, which usually it just involves me sitting in a, in a chair. But if I was to be active, I know that it, it would still keep up. All right guys, and for this final tip, remember at the beginning how I said my final tip is gonna blow your mind? Well, here we are. We're gonna talk about this. Don't be afraid to take hair product with you. Fireworks. Josh will edit in fireworks. I mean, pretty much every hair product comes in small, travel-friendly sizes that you can take wherever that you, wherever you're going for the day. You put it in your backpack, you put it in your bag, you put it in whatever it is that you take with you. If you're worried about your hair falling later on in the day or you've got some kind of special event in the evening, don't be afraid to pack your favorite hair product with you. I know it's crazy.
Also, if you enjoyed, can you like and subscribe? Thanks.